Here's how to culture wingless fruit flies, Drosophila melanogaster, for your fish, frogs, lizards, and more. You will need an escape-proof ventilated container. You may use deli cups with ventilated lids, like the one shown here, which are commonly sold with commercial fruit fly kits. Or you can fashion your own container with a glass or plastic jar, a cloth, and an elastic band. Other possibilities exist as well. The important thing is that the lid be escape-proof and well ventilated. A resting surface for the flies. Folded coffee filters or Excelsior, wood wool, are often used. I would prefer the Excelsior. Culture medium. You can use a commercial medium or make one yourself. Commercial fruit fly culture media are very nutritious, convenient, usually reasonably priced and very easy to use. Just measure, add the proper quantity of hot water and stir. I occasionally use do-it-yourself medium. Here is the recipe I use. One half cup potato flakes, two teaspoons nutritional yeast, one half teaspoon spirulina powder, one third of a teaspoon of cinnamon, one quarter cup or more boiling water, and one quarter cup or more of white vinegar. Add the boiling water to the dry ingredients until uniformly moist. Add up to one eighth of a cup of additional water and vinegar as needed to moisten. Setup. Whether you use commercial or do-it-yourself medium, the mixture should be moist enough so that the surface of the medium quickly becomes smooth. If it is lumpy, add a little more liquid. The medium pictured here might need a little more liquid added. Once the mixture is complete, push a handful of Excelsior into the medium. Put the lid on to prevent contamination with wild fruit flies or other unwanted insects. Allow the culture to cool for about 20 to 30 minutes. At this point, add about 50 flies. Write the date that you made the culture on the container with a marker. Keep your fruit flies around 70 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit, out of direct sunlight. Maintenance. The fruit flies need little in the way of care. Within a week or so after starting the culture, you should begin to see adults emerging from the dark pupil cases that dot the excelsior in the sides of the container. Soon after this, you should start another culture with some of the new flies. Once the culture begins to produce flies, the most important maintenance task is to harvest from the culture daily, or almost daily, to prevent overcrowding and a subsequent crash. About one month after you make a culture, it is time to discard it to help prevent mites from contaminating subsequent cultures. Harvesting Tap the container a few times so that any flies near the top of the container fall down towards the bottom. Remove the lid, tip the container, and tap the flies out. This may be done directly into an aquarium or other animal enclosure, or if you wish to dust the flies with a supplement into an appropriate container. 